Welcome back guys, it's Edward here from Not So Serious Gaming. Today we're going to be looking at the three side easter eggs for Relinquished. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is for the Golden Kormoroth, or however it's said, the Golden Alien Weapon. So basically what you need to do, you need to go to the secret area. To get to this, you need to cut down the first lot of bamboo to get to the first secret area. And then once you've activated power, got the screwdriver and gone and got the weird energy sphere, you're then able to go and activate Pack-a-Punch. This will remove the debris here, so you're able to enter the next secret area. Once you've done this, come up to this golden statue here and hold your action button on it. This will cost 250 points and you have a chance to activate one of the two side easter eggs. Right now we're going to be looking at it for the golden alien gun, as this is by far the easiest side easter egg to do. And you simply need to keep spamming that button, spending those points until you hear this noise and get that gun. Woo! That's one side easter egg done. So let's move on to the car. What? The car you say? Yes. The car 98k. So you want to head over to the start and purchase this here. Once you got it, you simply need to set up the pack a punch again and go pack a punch it. This can be done during day or night as it works as a malice pack a punch or a normal pack a punch weapon. And then basically all you need to do once you pack a punched it, once you have three or more zombies grouped up on you, when you shoot it you can either shoot a zombie or shoot in the air randomly and it will cause crystals to fall down from the sky and annihilate them. Maximum you can get is 5 crystals, so you can only kill 5 zombies at a time with this. But I think this is bloody awesome and it sticks to the theme of the map with all the crystals and I just think it's a great feature that Jute has added to the map. Great work mate. And now to the final side easter egg, which personally this is my favourite. And that is the Golden Katana. The Golden Katana is pretty awesome as you can fly around the map slicing through zombies like a hot knife through butter. So to do this, you need to go back to the Golden Statue and spend all your points again on this. When you hear this jingle, you'll know that the next step of the easter egg is ready to commence. What's happened is four dragon heads, golden dragon heads, have appeared around the map and you need to go and melee them. There are 20 locations and I'll try my best to get all the locations for you now. Well, I'm pretty sure Jute was pulling my leg when he told me there's 20 locations as I could only find 16 and I did this over 30 times. So yeah, sorry if you can't find the other four. If you do though, let me know in the comments section below. Once you've got all four dragon heads, you need to head to the furnace which is in the secret area to the left hand side of the pack a punch machine. Smelt all the dragon heads together and get yourself a golden jar of goop. Bring this golden jar to the container area to the right hand side of the HQ and lay it on top of the katana. Doing this, you will then be able to get the golden katana. Well, that's it so far for all the side easter eggs. He may put in a few more, you never know. But definitely keep tuned out for... Uh, hey, Edward. Don't you mean tuned in? Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, stay tuned in, guys, for the next one. Yeah, th that's what I meant. Yeah, thanks, Hugo. No problem, Edward. Good boy. He's a good boy. For his next maps, because they're going to be awesome and very unique like this too. Thank you very much for watching. This is Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming. Hope you all have a great day, morning, night, evening, whatever time of the day it is for you out there. Hope you all have a great one. Thank you ever so much and peace.